Banks are moving now from a largely in-house data centre to a hybrid computing environment. And this is to take advantage of the greater agility that the cloud has to offer. So today we've come to Switzerland, to Ruschlikon near Zurich, to IBM's world famous research lab. We're going to be talking to Susan Volkman, head of IBM's cloud managed services for Europe. We're going to be looking at how banks can ensure that they're getting the right cloud from the right vendor and thereby satisfy their future proofing needs as well as the strict levels of availability and security required by today's most demanding regulators. So Susan, what's the real value of cloud for businesses in today's digital world? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the, the real value of, of cloud really is directly linked with, with data. So the difference between a business and a digital business is, uh, is data. So in the digital world we live today, the, um, the data is the true source of value for um, a business. Um, and this is pretty independent in which industry you are, but certainly it's also true for, for banks and insurance. So it's very important for all of them to get uh, access and have the right data with the best possible insight to derive the, the biggest business value out of this. I understand. So um, what's the role of cloud in this uh, new cognitive era? Yeah, so maybe just to look at the cognitive era a bit more. So we're in the cognitive era, we say that augmented intelligence is, is really creating uh, the, the insights from the data. And it means to, to leverage um, cognitive technology to, to look at all possible angles on the, on the data and derive the insights. Now the cloud is a platform to really build this next generation applications uh, and experience uh, for a company, uh, but also to connect with the outside world of a company, with the clients, uh, with the ecosystem to, to do that. Wonderful. So let's talk about Watson. So Watson really is the name uh, we have given our cognitive technology in IBM. So it was uh, the, the game player in the Jeopardy uh, game show to start off with, where we introduced it to, to the public, uh, but branded this now with Watson, uh, where we um, actually provide the, the technology uh, to, to our clients and uh, help them to, to leverage the Watson APIs uh, to leverage cognitive technology for, for the development uh, and their solutions. So it seems to me that uh, having the right infrastructure in place is crucial. So how can you help um, clients, um, Susan, with uh, future proofing? <laughs> yeah, I think, um, I mean, our clients um, in all industries and certainly in the financial services industry are being um, under immense pressure um, with competition, with new players entering uh, the markets. There are architectural decisions uh, being taken right now. Decisions that will influence um, how companies can act, what possibilities they have in the next couple of years. Um, so right now, Gartner says, they say an average of five clouds for every company. We at IBM um, even see this number a little bit higher from what we see in the market and from our clients. So it's really multi-cloud hybrid structures that are there. So making the right platform decision is, is really saying whether uh, you're ready for the future or we will, you will be left behind um, in, in the coming uh, years. I wonder if I could ask you, um, now moving on to financial institutions, what is IBM's track record pr providing cloud solutions for financial institutions? I mean, the, the financial institutions are a core um, segment for IBM for decades. Um, Long-standing clients with us. In fact, 
42 of the 15 top 500 uh, banks uh, use IBM Cloud. The banks have to evolve into the digital age, leverage all possibilities they have there to have a different re client relationship, to better analyze, understand the information, the data that is out there, derive the insights, uh, insights to, to, um, to evolve, sometimes revolutionize, the business models they are doing there. Because also there it's not the, just the traditional classical processes and services. No, it's a completely different way to get to the new age customers um, and uh, build a continuous uh, client relationship with them. Now obviously for banks security is a very important issue. In fact it's probably one of the most important issues. How do you go about guaranteeing security for your customers? Cloud data security is a, is a prime topic uh, for our clients certainly and um, this is no matter whether it's cloud on-premise, off-premise, public cloud, private cloud, lots of different terminologies, but this is just a core element that needs to be um, addressed there. Uh, now the more dynamic characteristics of the clouds um, require uh, also a bit different view on security, not less, but um, to, to understand the dynamics that are involved in there. So, uh, with IBM being um, like a cloud leader in the market for many years, this is something we, we build up, we create it with this cloud age uh, and certainly bring it to our clients um, and to our financial services clients. So the, what we traditionally have is security. IBM has a long track record building secure solutions for our clients, with our clients, um, with all the different businesses we, uh, we have. And this is from protecting data, building secure applications um, to, to protect them, constant monitoring, auditing. So all these, these elements um, are a, a part of how we provide our cloud services and how we um, offer a cloud platform to our client. How can banks, Susan, uh, ensure they're obtaining the right cloud from the right vendor and thereby satisfy the stringent regulatory and compliance standards as well as the required levels of uh, security and availability demanded these days by the most strident of regulators? <laughs> Very true. Yes, this is indeed a, a crucial, uh, crucial element in the industry, um, in all industries, but I'd say especially um, in the financial services industry. So topics like security, we touched on GDPR, are are just on the on the watch list of every bank and CIO. So earlier this year, uh, the EU um, announced their data protection code of conduct for, for cloud. It was launched after an outstanding cooperation between the European Commission and committed cloud service providers to develop this uh, code of conduct. IBM was part of it. And uh, the companies who sign up to this code of, code of conduct pledge that uh, they are committed to privacy and security um, policies that are extremely robust, uh, go beyond uh, law enforcement uh, we are seeing. And so this code of conduct, uh, I think, is, is supporting clients very much to understand which cloud providers sign up to this code of conduct. Um, and help them to, to choose and select um, on the, the partners or providers they have for, for their cloud. Thank you, Susan Boltman. So, that's it. The IBM path for optimizing a bank's business with cloud. What's your path? This is Chris Watts in Zurich with IBM. Thanks for watching. Thank you.